Here's another mobile menu example that we can use. If I click on the link right here for demo page, you'll see that it opens up and you'll see the menu right here. This is kind of a simpler one and some people don't like it, but you'll see that if I'll make it a little bit smaller here and as soon as I get to a certain size, you'll see that a menu button appears and the menu actually jumps down there. Now if you click on the menu, tap in the case of a, a device, it'll jump you down there. You can also come back to the top. So it's, it's actually really simple. It's kind of just repositioning the menu. So here's how we do it. Scroll down. You're going to see here's all the styling. I'll copy that. This is the CSS. And I, I got a little, little carried away, but you'll see that you can put the CSS within your document or you can put it in an external style sheet like most of us would. I'll just paste it here just so we have it and we can refer to it. I'll go back over, scroll down, and you'll see here's the HTML. Once again, got a little carried away with some of this, um, and I'll fix this by the time the video is done, but click on Copy, click OK, and go into your body and put this somewhere in your body. Paste it. Now, here's a couple things going on. I pasted, this actually has a wrapper, which is a large div going around the whole thing. And you'll see that when you, by the time you copy it, this will have been fixed. You'll see something like that. Now I'll save this and then go preview it in the browser and see what we get. You'll see, well, there it is. I'll go up a little bit just so you can see the effect. There's the menu. Bam, back to top. Nice. So how does it work? All right, well, let's go back. So we actually have, if you look right here, we have the word menu. This is actually a link that's got some styling on it and it's got an href. It's actually linking, if you look right here, it's linking to the main menu system which is actually located at the bottom of the page, right there. So this is a nav, an HTML5 nav tag. We don't have to use that if you don't want to, you can use a div, but here is the actual menu system. Now by default, if there was no styling, this would show up, the menu would actually show up at the bottom of the page. But we do some tricky things here. All right, let me scroll up. You'll see first and foremost, I've got the menu here and it just has some basic formatting to it. There's the A, which is the link in the menu, pretty simple stuff. And then we get A.jump. This is actually that little menu link that we have at the top of the page, just a little bit of formatting. And then I have the header here, which just puts a little bit of formatting on the header itself. Not, nothing, no major deal here. So the, the idea here though is that this is mobile first, which means that these all this format is going to apply to everything, including mobile devices. What I've got here then is I've got a media query, and this number may change, it may be an M, so you might do some different things, but it says, okay, well, if the device or if the viewport itself is a minimum width of this, what I want to do is we're going to we're going to hide display none. We're going to hide that menu the jump. We're going to hide that little link. And then what we're going to do is you can see right here, we have a wrapper. The wrapper is a div. You got to have some kind of div around everything, which has a position of relative. Okay. And you're going to see we take the, the, when it gets big enough, when the viewport gets big enough, we take the unordered list and we position it absolutely top right. That's why this has to be relative. So it's saying, okay, you, you initially with no position, with nothing on you, it's sitting at the bottom of the page. But if we say, okay, position you top right, it's gonna move it to the top right of the page because of the wrapper. And then we say, okay, well, let's make all the allies in line, which means put them next to each other. And you'll see the AA is floated. There's a bunch of ways we could have done this. And this is kind of interesting, but the little top, display none. So I'll scroll down. LI class equals top. So we don't need a back to top when the full menu shows up at the top of the page. So I'll show you again. So back to top is gone. We say don't display it. This is absolutely positioned upper right, a little smaller. And you'll see, okay, it displays that when it's smaller and it shows up where it should by default without positioning at the bottom of the page. Hopefully that makes sense. Pretty simple stuff. It really is once you understand it and see how it works. but. So there's a simple example of a responsive menu.